Football, from peewees to pros, it's been America's game for generations. But when it comes to the safety of our kids, is the risk of concussion too great? Could the tide of opinion be changing? There's nothing more exciting than larger than life athletes grinding it out on the gridiron. And not just at the professional level. Parents all around the country put their children in football at very early ages. But while the pros can make millions of dollars, for many, the cost of playing at any level may be too high of a price to pay. A recent study showed that 110 out of 111 of deceased former NFL players who had their brains donated suffered from chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. And many believe that the damage starts very early on. In fact, Dr. Bennett Omalu has taken it a step further. A neuropathologist and expert in the study of the effects of concussions and the man played by Will Smith in the movie Concussion says that no one should play football until the age of 18. And letting children play football is the definition of child abuse. He has a new book entitled, Truth Doesn't Have a Side, My Alarming Discovery About the Danger of Contact Sports. Please welcome neuropathologist, Dr. Bennett Amalu to the show. So, Dr. Omalu, I have to tell you and congratulate you and, and say how much we appreciate all the research that you've done highlighting this problem. You really did bring something to light that I think a lot of us were so ignorant about. So thank you, first and foremost. Thank you. But now with your, your new book, you're, you're taking this to another level, saying that letting kids play football is equivalent to child abuse. Well, you know, the basic fundamental definition of child abuse is the intentional exposure of a child to the risk of injury. So we wouldn't give a child a stick of cigarette to smoke, but we would send a child to a field to suffer concussions, which is more dangerous, a stick of cigarette or a concussion of the brain. Of course, a concussion of the brain. My only concussion playing football I played in high school was playing flag football mm. before high school. That's the only concussion I, I had. So the issue is there, flag football, you're still running around, you can fall, you can run into somebody, and you don't have a helmet on. And there's, you, there's no way and to soccer. eliminate risk in any sport. Quite frankly, there's no way to eliminate risk, period. You can slip on the ice, bang your head, have a concussion. Correct. But there are ice many sides to the story. Lacrosse. And, and, I, and I guess I have a question, too, doctor, about the age, because you said these children shouldn't play football until they're their age of 18, but we know that a lot of adults have had CTE from playing football as well, so why draw the line at 18? My position, this is America, you don't tell an adult how to live his life. Adults are free to do whatever they want to do, if they want to practice what should have a law, good for them, but not our children. And why 18? Your brain is not fully developed until you're 18, 18 to 25. Children should engage in the non-contact sports, swimming, track and field, volleyball, um, basketball, table tennis, lawn tennis. These games, non-contact, will give your child everything football will give your child. But even more, these games will protect your child's mind and your child's intellect. And I will say, as all the data has come out, I look back and say, thank goodness I grew up playing basketball yes. and not football. But having said that, it is one of the most popular sports nowadays.